All right, today we're gonna to go over one of the fundamental aspects of the Lumitone that make it such a unique and incredible instrument, isomorphism. When applied to a keyboard, this means that any given interval retains its same shape no matter where you put it on the board. This changes everything, so let's talk about it. Hey folks, Happy New Year and welcome back. So if you already own a Lumitone, this video is not for you. At this point, you're already well aware of the beauty of isomorphism in the Lumitone. But we still get a lot of questions about how this instrument works. Folks see it for the first time and they think it looks way too complicated and they feel they'd just be better off learning the piano. But an isomorphic instrument actually simplifies music theory in a lot of ways, making it easier to pick up and learn. It's actually pretty ideal for beginners. So this video is for you, my humble, inquisitive, aspiring musician. So isomorphism is a term that is used broadly across many different disciplines and fields, and it has its roots in mathematics. The word itself comes from the Greek words iso, meaning equal, and morphosis, meaning to form or to shape. When this concept is applied to a musical instrument, something magical happens. Now the guitar, while not being fully isomorphic, is still a great example of this. In standard tuning, each string is tuned a perfect fourth apart, with the exception of the G to B string being tuned a major third apart. But if you play a bar chord, say an A major, you can take that exact shape and move it up the neck to play another major chord. And this cannot be done on the piano. Yeah, a C major triad is the same shape as an F major triad, but it's not a universal shape for each key. And this is where the Lumitone really shines. It utilizes that age old perfection of tiling hexagons together to unlock the power of isomorphism. So let's take a basic look at how this works using just the standard 12 notes in an octave. Okay, so we've got the standard 12 note tuning here mapped out using the Bosenkett Wilson layout which by the way is the same pattern used in many microtonal isomorphic mappings. These white keys here are the naturals. And these blue keys represent our sharps. So as you can see, it's laid out in a familiar piano-like pattern. So let's build a C major triad using C, E, and G. Now moving this shape anywhere on the board will give you another major triad. This works with literally any chord shape you wanna do here. Let's say you wanna do a Lydian chord with the one, three, five, seven, nine, and sharp 11. You can see I've got a minor triad shape stacked on top of a major triad shape. Learn that shape, put it anywhere else to play another Lydian chord. Now obviously this works for scales too. Now, this really comes in handy when you start experimenting with microtonal tunings. Now, applying microtonal tunings to a standard MIDI controller, while it can be done, is just an absolute mess of notes that can be really hard to keep track of. But by mapping equally divided tunings, say you want 31 notes in an octave instead of 12, to the Bosenkett Wilson layout, things get much simpler. Okay, so here's a 31 EDO mapping. We still have that familiar piano-like structure. The white row represents our naturals, and the pink row is our sharps, and this light green row is our flats. And they are now their own distinct notes. If you go further, this darker green row represents our double flats, and this blue row here represents the double sharps, which are also not just enharmonic equivalents of 12 EDO, and in fact are separate notes as well. So let's plop that Lydian chord shape down on the B here and start shifting back. This makes playing around with microtones super accessible, and it's a great way to start wrapping your head around a subject that goes pretty deep. So isomorphic layouts are nothing new. In fact, one way of doing it has been around for centuries. It's called the harmonic table. 
and nothing lets you access this layout more beautifully than the Lumitone. So learning chord shapes in the harmonic table is a great way to play in 12 EDO. The blue keys here represent the naturals. These orange keys represent our sharps. With the exception of the yellow keys representing the Ds. And these rosy pink keys representing our G sharps. Laying the notes out like this puts everything at a much closer proximity. So playing something like a major seven chord is a shape as simple as this. Bringing a handful of shapes on a layout like this will get you coming out with musical ideas that live outside your muscle memory. And having easily played shapes on an isomorphic grid allows you to move around the board while using a lot less of your analytical brain and letting your musical intuition be more of the guide. So hopefully that demystifies isomorphism a bit, and how it makes this instrument so powerful yet so simple. The Lumitone is very new, and I get at first glance it may seem really complicated, but this thing is designed to make music more approachable, while at the same time also providing an avenue to get more complex and dive deeper into music when you're ready for that. No matter what your skill level, music just makes a whole lot of sense on the Lumitone. But thanks to those folks who are watching and supporting, we'll see you soon. Thank you.